the, the president now is making his way. He's up to uh, run on Aerodrome Road and then enter the Nyao National Stadium and through the northern entrance, the city end of the stadium. Then that's where he's going to come in and make the run for about 100 feet as also is following the first lady as she runs leading way in this initiative that she started five years ago. So all eyes now will be at the far end of the stadium, then where the 100 meters normally starts on this now national stadium track, down it will be as everyone waits for the excitement that comes with this. We have seen that, and you can see from that that the deputy president is now inside the Nyao National Stadium, and you can see that there is a lead vehicle that has made its way at the northern entrance of this ground, and that span of the deputy president's press service as they make their way there. So you will see the deputy president. So, and from the pictures that we were able to see, the deputy president already has finished that time access on Elrodrome Road and is now inside the uh, Nyayo National Stadium premises. And uh, there is a whole load of slits who are just ahead of him. So it's everyone running at their pace. You really can't get them off the course anymore. As we also see some of those elite athletes who are making their run. And this are the athletes who are amateur athletes who are there. 21 kilometers in just under two hours. That is a pace that is always that is always achievable and gives everyone a good one. As more and more athletes are make their way into the stadium. And there we all mill around the grass, the, the surface here of the Nyao National Stadium. Remember, there's going to be entertainment after this for those who will be there, who are inside there. And also, I will also tell you that the 10 kilometer elite athletes have started making their way inside. Remember that at this marathon, there has been a change. It's not just one wave of athletes, it was the 10 kilometer men's race. The elite athletes were there. They were starting slightly ahead of the others and because they've got their different way of charging and for road races running on tarmac it's not always the best you can sp speak to somebody like jeffrey kamuaror who started off the world half marathon championships in 2016 got onto his v's caught up with the rest went on to win but he says that he really felt some pain all the bruises so remember it doesn't matter what it's like even the smoothest surface of tarmac is always rough so, if the runners in the 10, the 10 kilometer race uh, all have made their finish. Those are the elites. So, taking 20, just slightly over 25 minutes. And so, and that is it. As all the athletes who are there, you can see that all these. People here just milling around the place where at the end of it all they get their refreshments at the end of the race. That's what they have been doing. So, all protocols, as you can see, that there are so many people who are milling around the finish area, and that's which is quite normal in a marathon. After running all that, a lot of recovery is needed for some of them. 
they really feel that all of their energy has been expended on running so some at times need medical attention others just need to catch their breath others just need to feel that their uh, bodies just need some recovery so that is what you will see when you see all those people who are there with their jerseys and what for them what's the opportunity take just you know with that logo that says finish and say well put, put it out on their social media handles you can follow us on kbc channel one that's our twitter handle and get interacting with us for this event so far about 20,000 runners in total were expected to participate in these years beyond zero half marathon and there were different categories the walk is going to start at around 9 30 a.m and their distance basically just two kilometers and this is just across the stadium um just outside the stadium start just where everyone else is starting take a walk around the industrial area and finish two kilometers and that i don't know for most for the brisk walkers you would think that at five kilometers uh, per hour you'd probably take just about 20 minutes or so but for uh 20 25 minutes of walking or so for the brisk walkers but for the expecting women as they walk around that area ah, yeah. then you'd expect the deputy to be president there. of the republic of kenya well all Zili, focus now Nani is on the deputy president, president dr Wedu. william ruto Dio and the entire Nani. president making his run towards the finish line it's something that you know for all these athletes who've already done the half marathon they've made their run they've finished it people of all ages doing that and the deputy president now it's quite clear that he's got an inside and there's going to be a lot of focus on him and even the music at the stadium has changed and there they are the crowd is there as you can see the deputy president william ruto he's now made his way and he is now jumping down deputy president the deputy president medali yake ya kumaliza kilomita 21 bila shaka bila shaka nakumbuka mwenzangu hii ya leo ilikuwa ni ya ukweli wakati wa mwisho aliweza kuwa uh, kuonyeshwa root na alikuwa na shiriki kilomita kumi akaonyeshwa root ya kilomita na moja na akaweza kukamilisha kwa hivyo leo ni rasmi kwamba yeye ni mshindi wa kilomita ishirini na moja naibu wa rais
siko club niko pale kanisani na pia nimekuja na jirani na ameniambia ka story flan nikiambia mejam na story ya serikali akasema wasiasa ni waongo na wasaidii watu isipokuwa yule song nikasema usitegemee watu atakukanyakia na kwani we ni kiatu pangu nikutegemea Mungu ndio kiendelee au anasikianga machungu na mimi nasema meza dawa basi Yesu ndio amenipatia hii nafasi na mimi nampania makazi safi ile kama chuki mali chafu katikati na wale wametoka kule ghetto chua tu you got too much potential you got too much potential africa you got too much potential dig this instrumental success is not accidental sister you got too much potential Sikila <laughs> Naomba tuondoke tuingie kwa kiwanja. Tuingie kwa kiwanja. Tuingie kiwanjani tafadhali. Quite a lot of activity that we can see here at at until uh, the fini until this finish line where you can see everyone receiving their medals and there seems to have been a certain rush people who are now all coming to at the finish point so that is where all these athletes are and after that we shall we shall see that the athletes are well right now all of that is happening so much activity at this race all athletes having had to be separated and all going by the different boats. So there are those who are running the 10 kilometer race. It's all matched in their beep that prevented as corporates and they're being separated depending on the race that they entered. So that's the kind of activity that we have here at the finish line. And right now, all focus is on our Excellency, the First Lady, who is still out running the streets of Nairobi. Remember that there is a box that has to go through the industrial area. And also at the moment, with the music playing out, it's loud and... Yes, so there we are. So I've moved to the area of the finish line and already can tell you that the skies now opening up it the cloud cover that was there that athletes were really enjoying well you had it of uh, uh, from henry wanyoike that the overcast skies really did work well for those athletes who are, are running they have marathon and the uh distance so they were not really burnt out but knowing the kind of temperatures that can be at this place, then at when they're running, then you would know that they are quite, quite tough. So that's what's happening right here at the Nyo National Stadium. And just looking at the field, then you'd see that things are quite different. Okay. with all these people who have come to a close. I will... be looking for a place to stand and get, you know, to... Uh, get to see some of the people who have uh, been running around this and get their views on why they do, especially the recreational runners. Because the recreational runners in this country quite a number of them and all have got different achievements and they all do too well and also looking at the field 
the crowd that was here all milling up, getting on to this newly laid tap at the Yao National Stadium. Much of the construction work almost coming to a close. Remember that construction work around the Yao National Stadium was initially, you know, planned around the Championship of African Nations. That is Chan 20. Chan 2018. That event never happened, but you can see that the changes, the structure that were that and changes that were there. Well, right now, you could get to speak to Sam of uh, the uh, athletes who are here. Um, and they entered this race as recreational runners. And so, a feel of what it's like to run their full marathon and you know why they're doing it for their health and for all those peppers so i'll be going and i'll be speaking to let me speak to this gentleman here hello well 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 first of all i just Introduce yourself and uh, tell us reason Kiswahili. Neza tuambia, neza tuambia jina lako na sababu ya kuwa kwenye mazoezi na kukimbia kilometer three na moja siku ya leo. Okay, sante sana. Kwa majina mimi naitua Peter Macharia, alias Mwivare, kutoka na Kurukante, Bahati. Na uneza tuambia, haswa sababu ya kwa ya kuwa kwenye, unakimbia kusabu naona mavazi unayo sawa na sana kila kitu kukimbia. Eh, napenda kukimbia kwa hiyo ni, ni talanta yangu ya kukimbia sasa nikona ni vyema ni kuja ni shiriki zimbio za first lady market kinyata build zero na nikakimbia 21 km na mwaka 2016 bia ni shiriki kwa hizi mbio za first lady kwa vile na our first lady kwa vile wakati ambako tuna shiriki katika hizi mbio yeye huwa anatufanyia mambo mengi sana kama tuseme wakati wa miaka ambayo ambayo imeshapita ni zero amesha aliwahi kutununulia this mobile clinic katika 47 countries na wakati huu anao mengi ambao anataka kututendea kuhusu kina mama na watoto sasa nikaonelea pia niwe mmoja mwenye kushiriki katika hizi mbio zake Aya, na ajen kakuliza, uko na umri wa miaka mingatu? Umri, miaka 67, 67 years. Na ume kwa kikimia kwa muda gani sasa kwenye mbio kama hizi? Tuseme kwa mbio kama hizi, tuseme mwaka hudi wa mwaka wangu ya sita. Ni ya tatu mkoti na jidi tije dhamo kwa mjina kuru. Takaini mpesha kimia, mpesha kimia hizi za sada nisha katu ya kakadha. Last year, I was in the Forest Marathon. 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 I was in the Forest I was in the Forest seen one let me ask her to come over so and let's see because she run the half kilometer and she's one of the recreational runners that we have and hello how are you joyce i'm good i'm good i'm good all right you can face the cameras up there yeah. so how does it feel after finishing the 21 kilometer race oh it feels very great because i ran I put a very spirited fight because I ran under two hours. What's your time that you have today? Uh, my time today is uh, less than two hours. We are just going to check my time because uh, I ran a very good pace and uh, it was a wonderful run. Today it was a beautiful weather. We ran, the, we ran downtown and uh, we have really enjoyed the weather. All right, and there's something I've seen on your T-shirt today, Joyce. You could just around and tell us what is what what is the message that you have on your t-shirt today the message that i have 
for my t-shirt today. I came to run beyond zero at the end. 65. I danced. Now you can face the camera. Yes. I danced. Yes, I. Yesterday was my 65 birthday, so I came to celebrate uh, my birthday by doing the beyond zero to 21 kilometers. Belated happy birthday. Running for you. How do you get into this? Yes, well, well, I started running about 15 years ago, and I've been running all, all races in this country. I have been running, uh, I've been running beyond zero since it started. And how does it feel year in, year out, every time you get into this run? Every time I get into this run, I, I'm happy and uh, I want to speak about Kenyans. Kenyans are now embracing uh, coming out and supporting and uh, running for creation or running, which is very, very good for the IO. What's the longest distance that you run? Well, last year I ran 90 kilometers uh, in South Africa and I ran uh, two hours raising money for the only public children's referral hospital we have in this country, which is true for Africa Children's Hospital, situated at the Moi Teaching Referral Hospital. 90 kilometers, how long did you take and how did you prepare for that? Well, it took uh, 10 hours, 7 minutes, and it took about uh, 4 months of training. And I'm gearing again this year because I want to go back to do the 90 kilometers because uh, uh, it's called back to back. This year the, it is going to be a, a, an up run. Last year I did a, a down run and it is run from Peter Marisburg to Durban or from Durban to Peter Marisburg. And I'm going to raise, to run, to raise money to the same charity, Shoe for Africa Children's Hospital. Well, and for those of you who are just wondering what something like 90 kilometers is, well, I'll just give you a hint. Think of this, leave Nairobi, go to Thika, that's 42 kilometers, get back to Nairobi, and then make your way almost to, to some place like Kasorani. That is 90 kilometers, or basically, just 10 kilometers short of Naivasha town. That's the distance we're talking about. And Joyce Nukuhia has run. Congratulations and belated happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. I am. Uh, I feel honored to run among us. Oh, most of these people are running. They are my children. And I feel honored at least to come and support this initiative that the first lady. And I want to congratulate the deputy president because I have run with the deputy president and he has run a very, very good pace because he has run below six minutes a kilometer. I've run all along with him and he was just behind me. And he's such a, he's such a good runner. Were you the rabbit for the president? No, I wasn't. I, I could have... For the deputy president, right? I could, I could have become a... I could have been the rapid uh, pace, pace setter for the deputy president, but I congratulate him because he really put a spirited uh, fight for this run. Thank you very much, Joyce, and congratulations. We got time for you. Well, I'll tell you this. We also have got some of our kids who are running this event, and so I'll be picking one of them, and he can tell us why he's doing that, and that's in just about three minutes' time. Two years actually and every time I know we're in the office you would find him you're walking and suddenly he's on the computer and he's asking uh, what time is this marathon starting well for him today he was running as part of the KBC well done how was the uh, 10 kilometer run today I ran 21, 21. 10. I ran 21 and I really enjoyed running 
uh, the course was very good, unlike last year when we ran this distance in Chatham. But this time round, the course was very flat, and I really enjoyed the whole race. And which were the challenging parts of the course? Because I was able to go around the course with the elite athletes. Where were the challenging parts? Well, uh, the challenge was at the Mount KBC as you head to Westlands and on your way to Nusham. Uh, that was the most hilly part of the course, but the rest of the course was okay. Have you managed to time for this half marathon? Well, I did have the I did have the watch, but I know I've run a very good time. I always run, so I know I did so well. What events are you doing now? Well done. A year as individually and also as part of the KBC running family? Well, uh, I do twice a year marathon. I run the standard chartered marathon in October, late October. And this is my second marathon, uh, the Beyond Zero Marathon. So the next event for will be in uh, October, which is the standard chartered marathon. So in a year, I do twice a year. One half marathon and one full marathon. Yeah, uh, in October I'll be running the full marathon, the standard charters, so I'll have time to prepare from now. Well, we've seen you, you come, you finish. Now, just a question, where is the rest of the crew? Well, my colleagues were running the 10 kilometers, so I don't know where they are. It was only me who was running the 21 kilometers, as you can see, and I'm very proud of my medallion, which I've been given. I think this is my 23rd medallion over the last 20 years. So that means one medal a year and when you started doing two events that's where it got to? Yes, uh, in 2003 the first marathon uh, the standard chartered in 2003 so since that time I've never ceased to run and I'm not going to do it in the next few years. Well as a veteran of the team where would you you know and get, uh, get the people you know to train for this marathon marathons and uh, how to get into this activity? Well, myself, I train from January to December. There is no time I don't train. Every morning I wake up, I train all over the streets of Nairobi, uh, in Lavito, in Kelelesho, which is a bit, uh, it has a lot of trees and so it has a lot of oxygen. So I like training that particular uh, part of Nairobi every year. Yeah. All right, congratulations, well done. We'll be waiting for the rest of the team by the time they're done with this 10 kilometer race. That's well done, Kirui. He is a radio producer. You can see he's got the colors Radio Taifa, Saudi Am Kenya. So he's there representing the official colors. Congratulations, well um, all done. You can take your rest. Well, you can see all people participating here, each one of them has a story to tell. And for someone with 23 medals, well, I've got to tell you it's time that you picked up running and got your fitness levels all the way up.
Yes, we are at the Nyayo National Stadium and today is the day for the Beyond Zero Mar a Half Marathon which was launched in January 2014 by Her Excellency Margaret Kenyatta, the first lady of the Republic of Kenya. We've seen the races that started this morning at 6 a.m. and now we're waiting the finish of the 10 kilometer race where the first lady herself is participating. We've already seen the, the 21 kilometer half marathon being run and there are others who are still struggling to finish the race. Even we saw the deputy president participating in the, in the race, the 21 kilometer race. We've seen the veterans who have been participating in that, in that race year in, year out. And all, Kenyans of all walks of life have turned up in large numbers to take part in the various categories uh, that have been earmarked for this particular uh, Beyond Zero Half Marathon. We have different categories. We had the 21 kilometers men and women. We had the 10 kilometer men, uh, men and women. And the 10 kilometer, remember, it is of interest because the first lady herself is participating in the 10 kilometer race. And we have prices that are lined up uh, for these particular races. And in the 21 kilometer race, the first participant, the winners, will, t will go home with 250,000. And that is both men and women. 250, 250, that is, we are talking of half a million uh, prize money for the two winners of the 21 kilometers. The second position will take home 125,000 um, uh, shillings, Kenya shillings, and the third position will pocket 75,000. Going down, even the fourth position, uh, participants and uh, with the, the, the fourth people will be, that is the ladies and the men will be placed fourth, will go home with 30,000, fifth, 20,000, sixth to 10th, they'll be pocketing 10,000 each. 
And in the 10 kilometers, we also have the winner will go home with 100,000 shillings. Second position will go home with 60,000 shillings. 40,000 shillings will go to the third position, that both men and women. Fourth position will pocket 20,000. Fifth position will pocket 10,000. And also from the sixth to the tenth position, nobody's going home empty handed. They'll also be bagging uh, 10,000 kilometer. We have also the wheelchair. The people with disability have not been left behind. We have the wheelchair 20 kilometer, which also started early in the day, that is 6 a.m. And we have the tricycle 21 kilometers also, which also took place. In this wheelchair 21 kilometers, men and women, the winner will go home with 100,000. Second position, 60,000. Third position, 40,000. Fourth, 20,000. And fifth position, 10,000. In the tri tricycle, 21 kilometers, men, the winner also will pocket 100,000 shillings. Second position, 60,000 shillings. Third position, 40,000 shillings. Fourth, um, fourth position, 20,000. And then the 10 kilometers, um, the fifth position will go home with 10,000. We also have the blind race, the visually impaired uh, group, and they'll be running 21 kilometers, and this is the T11 and T12 to T13 categories, the both men and women. The first position will pocket 30,000 shillings, second position 15,000, and third position 10,000 shillings. So this particular uh, half marathon, beyond zero uh, half marathon, is catering for all, all people from all walks of life, all categories, both um, the able-bodied and disabled, that is the visually impaired, they have their special category, the wheelchair also have their special category. So we are looking at a race that is, encompasses everybody, everybody who is taking part in this, uh, in this half marathon. And then looking at the, the winners uh, today, I mean the, the times, the, 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 the event started, very early in the morning at 6 a.m. we had the call, it was the call time and we had the first race starting at 6:30 a.m. and that was the wheelchair and tricycle. The half marathon 21 kilometers started at around uh, 7 a.m. Then followed by the 10 kilometer, which also uh, entailed the corporate races. Of course, KBC Channel One was being represented very well there. Uh, we've seen well done, our own well done Kiri finishing the 21 kilometers and he was being uh, interviewed by our own um, Wahome. So the corporate races attracted so many other corporate uh, organizations participating in this race. We had also the, um, uh, we had the five kilometer race and we are also expecting the two kilometer pregnant walk, which is the mark to start around 9 a.m. So today is a busy day. If you, are, if you are still at home, you can catch all the action on KBC Channel 1. And remember, the roads have been sealed off. You can't really enter town, and especially the route that we expect uh, people to follow. So you know very well, today Mombasa Road has been closed, Lusaka Road, Mombasa Road Junction to the City Stadium, Aerodrome Road, Bunyala Road, Mombasa Road Junction to Unilever, Kenya, Haley Celeste Roundabout, Kenyatta Avenue, University Way, Waiyaki Way, Museum Hill, Waiyaki Way Junction to Ojijo Road, uh, around Kipande Road Junction. So you actually can't enter uh, the, 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 the CBD and especially the main roads entering all the entry uh, feeder roads to the city center, to the CBD, that are all been closed. So if you are coming from different parts of the, uh, of, the, of the city, from Eastlands, you want to go, you cannot come to town. So you have to look for alternative routes. And same to the people coming from Gong Road, you have to look for also alternate, alternative routes so that you can be able to go where you're going. So if you are thinking of entering, might be using some of the roads, uh, we find that the roads have been closed off just for the safety of the participants, especially the, 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 the different uh, people who are participating in this uh, race, we also have the disabled that must be taken care of. We have the blind, uh, the visually impaired, sorry. And we have uh, people from different walks of life really taking part um, in these particular points. And as we move on, uh, of course, the 21 kilometer is over, but there are still people who participate. The, the elite athletes, I'm sure most of them have already completed, but we have those ones who are participating for a worthy course. The uh, Beyond Zero, 
and they're participating for a, a, a worthy cause, and that's mean, that means they are not really elite athletes, but they want to really see what happens and really contribute to the universal health care that we are all looking at uh, as far as this uh, noble cause of Beyond Zero uh, Half Marathon is uh, entails. So we expect um, uh, the first lady been told any time she'll be finishing the 10 kilometers. We saw the deputy president, because it started as a rumor that the deputy president is participating. And then we see him at the finish line, having finished, and he was awarded a medal by the CS for Sports, Ambassador Amina Mohamed. So that was very interesting. And Amina, I think she must have run five kilometers, if, I may, if I'm not very wrong. We saw her also finishing. And we expect to see, I also, earlier, I saw the uh, Professor Kibuda Kibwana, the governor for Makueni, and also the CS for Health, Cecil Kariuki, is also part of the, the action today. So we expect so much, a uh, uh, lot of action. And of course, tune in to KBC Channel 1. We are bringing you all the action. We started at 6.30, 6.30 a.m. And we'll bring you all the action, all the speeches, all the good things that come with this particular race. And we expect much, much more. And keep on watching KBC Channel 1 for this action. Uh, remember this uh, Beyond Zero Half Marathon was launched in January 2014 by Her Excellency uh, Margaret Kenyatta, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya. And Beyond Zero was inspired by the realization and knowledge that maternal and children deaths are preventable. It is a call to action for policy prioritization and formulation, increased resource allocation, improved de service delivery and better individuals' health, seeking behaviors and practices. Through this high-level advocacy platform, the First Lady leverages on the, on the convening power to bring to focus key challenges facing Kenyans and build strategic partnership that will address these challenges. And that's why, that, that's why she's the brainchild behind this Beyond Zero. And she means well to all Kenyans because we expect Kenyans to benefit, especially the mothers and the children of this republic that will be able to, uh, you see the, the mobile clinics that have actually come, they have emanated from this, uh, this noble cause. And we believe Kenyans will support this noble cause or beyond zero so that we can achieve the universal healthcare that we are anticipating as a republic. So as we continue, uh, I think might be a link you up with uh, Wahome, who is on the ground uh, to tell us more what is happening. He's trying to, inter to talk to people at the ground as we wait for the grand final of the first lady when she's, she'll be finishing her 10 kilometer press. Wahome. Okay, okay. Um, as we wait, as we wait the, uh, the finish of the 10 kilometer race, a very interesting race where everybody is gathered at the Nyaya National Stadium, actually waiting to see the first lady herself. Yeah, you have to lead by example. Uh, and that's why she has chosen also to participate. And she's been participating in all these marathons. Remember, we saw her participating in the London Marathon some time back. So she wants to lead by example. And uh, that's why she's participating in the 10-kilometer event. Actually, it is a, is a, this race has been talked about since the beginning of the year. And everybody was looking forward to it. And it has actually come to actualize, the actualization of it is today, where we've seen several, several people participating. And the 12-kilometer uh, race, as we've mentioned, uh, we're going to get the, the prize money there, being 250000 And... Um, 
We expect the lead, uh, the leads have already finished that race. And then we also have the 10 kilometer uh, race, uh, which also features two categories. We have the elite category, which is eligible to uh, people to get prize money and the amateur category, which will not be eligible for prize money. So we have categories, you can come and run, but running, you've already contributed towards the noble cause. So that means whether you're running as an athlete and as an uh, elite in the elite category, or you are running as just for leisure, you are contributing something to this country. You are contributing to the healthcare of people in this country, the, the mothers, the children, and the adults, the old, everybody's participating because they're going to gain from the, from the clinics, uh, the mobile clinics that actually come uh, from whatever you contribute. It does not really contributing to the noble cause of this, um, this particular event. Uh, talking about Beyond Zero, uh, they've achieved so much uh, because uh, it has contributed to strengthening of health system for service e equality, e equity in this country uh, because they have recognized the devolved structure of health services systems and Beyond Zero has donated 47 fully kitted mobile clinics to 47 county governments to strengthen the existing outreach programs and referral systems. The mobile clinics design and specification were developed in conjunction with the Ministry of Health through wide consultation whilst understanding the, the specificities of county, of county profiles. The mobile clinic partly addresses access to health care services for hard to reach areas informal settlements focusing on urban and peri-urban areas and at risk population. The sustainability of the mobile clinic is ensured through a formal handing over to the county government and the signing of memorandums of understanding between the county government. Actually, it, it passes everybody. Everybody is involved. The governments, both the national government, the county governments, and the Manainji. We are all part and parcel of this noble cause. The process demonstrates transfer of ownership from beyond zero to county governments. In addition, each mobile clinic receives a master facility number to enable the county government allocate health workers, purchase drugs and supplies, allocate budget and report on the national district health information system. So as you know, this is a noble, a very noble, noble, noble um, uh, cause. Uh, that we are all out there participating uh, in this Beyond Zero Half Marathon and which also has other events that are coming uh, on board. And we thank the First Lady uh, for coming up with this noble, uh, noble cause of actually trying to remedy. And the foundation was launched in 2014, as I've mentioned, in partnership with the government. And the campaign actually of the Beyond Zero aims to promote maternal, newborn, and child health in Kenya, at the same time controlling the prevalence of HIV. And to do this, more than 20 mobile clinics. Now you're talking, the, 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 the focus is up to 47, but over 20 mobile clinics have been delivered throughout the country, specifically in areas that have had have had time accessing the medical services. Uh, some of those areas include Taita Taveta, Samburu, Narok, Homabay, Baringo, Isiolo, Trukana, Marsabit, Wajir, Siaya, Kisi, Kitui, Kilifi, Kwale, Keo, Marakwet, Laikipia, and many more others where sometimes it's very hard to access uh, healthcare. So Beyond Zero Foundation has come in actually to seal this gap. It enables any member of the society to participate in the campaign and it organizes annual marathons like this one today to raise money for this noble cause. Therefore, anybody is just not running. It, it doesn't end today that you've participated in the marathon. The contributions, donations are still open. So you're able to donate to Beyond Zero and you'll be able to reach, to reach the... Um, at the end of the day, we, uh, we're going to be able to achieve um, the, uh, the, the uh, we are going to achieve what has been really set, the focus of this Beyond Half Marathon. Therefore, we, we just want to thank 
as we wait for the half marathon, we wait for the 10 kilometer, that's where the first lady is expected to finish the rest. We expect that um, most of us will continue contributing to this noble cause. And whether you've participated or not, the donations, the contributions are still open. You can go to the website and see how you can contribute to the noble cause. And we Kenyans, we are the sponsors. We are the ones who are going to benefit. Therefore, you don't have a heavy heart when you are contributing. Give. Even God loves a generous giver. Therefore, we'll be very happy if you continue contributing and be, be part and parcel of the Beyond Zero Marathon. You can see um, participants are really flogging at the Nyai National Stadium, those ones who have finished their various categories. And um, we expect that any time the First Lady will be able to finish um, to finish the rest. And of course, she has so many people who are escorting her to be able to achieve by finishing. She's also participating at the same time, lobbying and calling upon all those who care about helping people in society. I expected so, we expect so much more. It's just to remind you, we had several categories um, of this, uh, this Beyond Zero Half Marathon. And we had the half marathon, the 21 kilometers, which was, of course, run both men and women. We had the 10 kilometer, which also attracted corporate teams. Channel One was not left behind. They participated also as a corporate team. And the, remember, the 10 kilometer it has interest because the first lady herself is taking part in the first, in the, in the 10 kilometer event. We had also the five kilometers two kilometer pregnant walk for the, for the pregnant ladies. Uh, they participated in the two kilometer. We had the 21 kilometer wheelchair race, half marathon, and we also had a tricycle, half marathon, 21 kilometer. And remember, you also had the visually impaired were also taken care of, and they also participated um, in this, um, this particular um, this particular event. So everybody, it was an all-inclusive, uh, it's an all-inclusive uh, event where everybody, when you are running for fun, you'd be there. The family fun run was also there. It was captured. They, and all those who came, who turned up, ran in a five-kilometer event. So it's an event that has attracted people from different walks of life. And we saw the sports minister, Amina Mohamed, she's there. She ran her race. I think she came in very early, and she's waiting now to award people with medals. We saw uh, the CS for Health, Cecil Kariuki. And I also remember seeing Governor of Makueni, Professor Kibuda Kibwana, all the way from Makueni. Uh, he's come to be part and parcel of today's event because he means well. He cares about the people he represents in Makueni. He cares about the people of this country so that they can, they can get access uh, to, to health care. And um, <laughs> I also saw the senator for Helge Omarakwet, Murkomen. He also took part in this particular race, I, but I don't know what position he finished, but at least I saw the deputy president coming in very strongly, yeah, showing us that he's part and parcel of the event. So there's so many other politicians who have come in, and um, we expect that uh, in future, let us all turn out in large numbers, support this noble cause, because it means well, if it is not you, it will help somebody in Trukana, somebody in Garissa, somebody in Kwale, somebody in Makweni, somebody in Busia, somebody in Kakamega, in Siaya, Homa Bay. So they are, we are all going to benefit as Kenyans. So we expect that um, anybody coming up with a noble cause, we call upon all Wanainji to support the noble cause because at the end of the day, it is us who are going to benefit as Wanainji. So we need to support all the good things um, our leaders are coming up with and as a country we're going to live well. So
today, I know it was crazy. It has been crazy for Nairobians because most of the roads have been locked, have been blocked. And uh, we believe it has been blocked for a good cause. And um, I know the roads that were affected today, if you are still at home and you're watching, remember Mombasa Road, Lusaka Road, junction of Mombasa Road to City Stadium, Aerodrome Road, Bunyala, Bunyala Road, Mombasa Road, junction to Unilever, Hale Celeste Roundabout, Kenyatta Avenue, um, Lusaka Road, University Way, Waiyaki Way, Museum Hill, Ojijo Road, Kipande Road, Junction. And remember, people woke up very early in the morning to come and participate in this race. And it started as early as 6 a.m. when the first race, um, that is the, the one for the wheelchair, wheelchair and tricycle being called. It started at 6.30. And I think it was good seeing Kenyans turn up in large numbers to participate as early as that. Kenyans were on the road already, headed to Nyai National Stadium. That was the start of the events. And people are out there. Those ones who did not participate were outside there cheering, cheering so that we are able to see who. We had all along the way, we had, of course, several water points. And uh, we had the, at the GPO, we had a water point. If you are running and you feel like you want to quench your thirst, uh, there are water points at GPO, Museum, Dunga Road, Lusaka Road, uh, Turning uh, of Eka Hotel. Uh, we saw also there was another water point, at the, of course, at the Baricha Road. And of course, at the finish point, once you finish, you can take as much water as you But also, you advise if you're running, don't take so much water because you'll, be, you, you'll get a stitch and you'll be able to finish. And of course, remember, we, these people who are participating, if you don't win the cash prize, you'll earn a certificate of participation, which is very good, because there are those ones who are running, they're not elite athletes, but they're running for the good, uh, for the good cause. Therefore, they'll be certified, they'll be given certificates. So it's a good CV for you if you have a certificate of participating in, in the Beyond Zero Marathon event, because it shows you are, you are really giving back to community, and you are really participating and helping uh, what the government is trying to do, uh, universal health care, which the government envisages that we'll be able to, uh, to reach uh, in like 2020, in 2013, uh, 20, 2030, vision 2030, that you're able to, people have access to free health care. Remember uh, the margin numbers, you can call um, 0700395395 or 0738395395. And remember uh, that uh, most of the, the participants, we saw most of the corporates coming up in large numbers with their teams. And really, they came out uh, to show Kenyans that they are part and parcel of this noble cause. So if you are out there, you're still at home. Please catch all the action. Catch all the action. KBC Channel One, your true sports partner. We are bringing you all the action from the Nyai National Stadium. And remember the races that were being run today with the half marathon, both abled and disabled. Uh, we had the 10 kilometer road race, family, family fun run, which was five kilometers, the wheelchair and recycle. Pregnancy walk, and then of course the nightmare for the Nairobians was the road closures. The road closures really affected uh, the poor are going to church today, and the poor are going to work. But at the end of the day, it was our it's our, for our cause. It's just one Sunday that you are dis uh, destabilized a bit, and uh, we are happy that um, Kenyans turned out to cheer those who are running along the roads, along the uh, CBD, Mombasa Road, coming to Westlands, back, Nyayo, Bellevue, along all those, all uh, the people turned up. And we really thank them for turning up and making the, the event uh, a success. 
the, the categories, and we said, as we said, the top, the fa uh, first kilometer, the, the first event that was the 20 kilometer, which is already over, although the elitist have already finished, but we still have the cash prices. The cash prices for the, for the event was uh, the half marathon, the half marathon, the winner for the half marathon going to go home with 250,000, 250,000 Kenya shillings, both men and women. And remember, the cash price trickles up to position 10. So if you've run uh, the race, if you didn't get the first position, second, third, up to number 10, you are going to go home. You're not going to go back home empty handed. So we are happy that um, anybody who participated, especially the elitist, they are able to go home with something in their pockets. And we encourage um, people, whether you're winning or not winning, if an event is for a worthy cause like this one, the Beyond Zero Half Marathon, please, you're welcome to participate anytime so that you support what our First Lady, Her Excellency Margaret Kenyatta, has done. Remember, in the 10 kilometers, you said the 21 kilometers, 250,000, it's up for grabs for the first position, both men and women. Second position, you're going home with 125,000 Kenya shillings. Third position is 75,000 Kenya shillings. Fourth position is 10, 000, uh, 30,000 Kenya shillings. Fifth position is 20,000 Kenya shillings. And from the sixth to the tenth position, each one is pocketing 10,000 Kenya shillings. In the 10 kilometers, we have the number one, the, pole, the person who takes the pole position takes home 100,000. Second position, 60,000 Kenya shillings. 40,000 for those placed third. Fourth placed person in the 10 kilometer race will finish 20, they will get 20,000 Kenya shillings. Fifth will get 10,000 Kenya shillings. From the sixth to the 10th position, again, you are going home with 10,000 Kenya shillings. The wheelchair participants in the 21 kilometer race, both men and women, they're going to pocket 100,000 Kenya shillings. Second position, 60,000 Kenya shillings. Third position, 40,000 Kenya shillings. Fifth position, uh, fourth position, 20,000 Kenya shillings. Fifth position, 10,000 Kenya shillings. And in the tree circle, 21 kilometer also, you have the winner pocketing 100,000 Kenya shillings. Second position, 60,000 Kenya shillings. Third position, 40,000 Kenya shillings. Fifth, uh, fourth position, 20,000 Kenya shillings. And fifth position, 10,000 Kenya shillings. The visually impaired race 21 kilometers and the classification was T11, T12, and T13. They have, in the visually impaired category, we have various uh, classification. We have the T11, T12, and T13. They're all put together, and the winner, the first position, was going home with 30,000 Kenya shin, both men and women. Second position, 15,000, and third position, 10,000. Actually, the motto, inspiring, it's inspiring, um, inspiring action, changing lives. That is the motto beyond zero, inspiring and changing lives. So that is what um, today the participants are going, that, that is the prize money for the participants in this particular uh, event. And I'm wondering the top, the top, top, top leadership who have participated, I don't know which position they finished, uh, but I think what we expect from them is the big donation <laughs> so that they can support, they can be able to support um, the event. So people are piling up at the stadium, at the Nyai National Stadium, those ones who have finished their various events uh, from the 21 kilometers, abled body to 21 kilometers, um, disabled, different disabilities, the wheelchair, and the visually impaired, the amputees, they're all there. And uh, we expect that um, uh, that the first lady, almost, almost, I'm being told, almost finishing. And those ones who can run, they are able, those ones who can run, are able to do what? To 
just walk because that is its part. It's, it's, it's running and walking. And that's why the pregnant ladies were told they, they wouldn't be left behind. They were given two kilometers walk. So all, everybody was participating. The children are all there also to participate. If they can be able to run five kilometers, yes. They cannot be able to run five kilometers. They can walk and you are, we are all in it. And of course I saw earlier the, the CS for sports, uh, Ambassador Amina Mohamed, also in this race. Health CS, Cecil Kariuki, you are part and parcel of the, the congregation, the runners, the participants. Governor Makweni, Professor Kibuda Kibwana. So Senator Felgeo Marakwet, Murkomen, and of course, DP, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, was also participating, and it was glad. He would pass. If you are running with him, he would pass, because if he done in those, the kit for running, you wouldn't recognize him until the finishing line when he was starting the tape is when everybody, oh, because it started as a rumor, the DP is around. But I think he didn't want to show himself. He just moved in with the athletes, the, the participant. And there he was when he saw him finishing. That was good. And a good gesture when you get the, the top leadership participating in such an event. It encourages, it inspires the young ones, those who are not aware that the, the event is going on. They, they'll be like taken aback. Oh, look what is happening. What is this that is happening here? So it was good that uh, we saw the Deputy President participating in this event. And we feel and we believe that anybody coming up with a noble cause, we as Kenyans, we need to support it. Uh, so that at the end of the day, the Wananchi are the beneficiaries, not any individual. So as we wait for the last race, the ones who are walking back to the stadium, the pace, the weather has been a bit humid, but I think uh, those who were earmarked to participate in the event, they have been training, and that's why you can see them. Okay, we've seen a few people fainting here and there, but at least the majority are up on their feet, and um, we are happy about that. And remember, if you are at home, you are going nowhere, tune in to KBC Channel 1 to watch all the action from the, from the Beyond Zero Marathon. People are walking and there's already entertainment at the Nyai National Stadium waiting for the finish of the 10 kilometer race. Those who are finished are being entertained and they're waiting for the first lady to finish her race and from far you can see I think there, there's a crowd a big crowd that is coming in that is able to finish the 10 kilometer race that has really attracted many because that's where the first lady is participating and all I can see majority majority of the ladies have come in strongly to support the first lady we are all out there. People have skipped to go to church today to support this noble cause. And we are at, at, at KBC. We say thank you very much. And tune in. Watch all the action from your True Sports partner, KBC Channel One.
na kilomita ya kwanza ilikuwa ni hivi na kufikia sasa nitakueleza sasa hivi mtumi yangu wacha tumalize nikueleze Okay, the first lady was participating in the 10 kilometer race and uh, the only Saka Road. They are just almost turning, uh, turning in. Oh my God, I can see they are all walking, but it's for a while because it's the, the weather, the weather, the weather has been humid and almost. The reports you're getting, the first lady is almost entering the Nyai National Stadium, finishing grueling 10 kilometer distance. You expect the first lady anytime to cross the finish line now, entering the Nyai, they're still on Lusaka Road. Slowly coming in. And of course, those who started earlier, the, uh, the one who started at 6.30 a.m., the first race. Okay, now I take you to Wahome. He's on the ground to tell us what's happening. Well, welcome back to the Nyan National Stadium. It's feet side and so much happening. People warming down, getting involved in the entertainment. And with me here is an entire KPC team that was in the fan race, all branded together. One Orange Carl and KPC Channel 1. First of all, how do you feel about having made your run today, the 10 kilometer run? Tumekuja kuwakilisha KBC hapa Beyond Zero. Leo tumefanya vizuri, tumekimbia tume kilomita kumi na tumemaliza. Kutembea ama kukimbia? Kukimbia. <laughs> yeah. Safi. Frida. Yes. Running on the Running 10 kilometers. Yes. Was fun. We were happy to represent the corporation and we are happy we finished. We have the medals and next year we will be more prepared. All right. Well, I'll tell you this, that His Excellency the President, Uhuru Kenyatta, is here at the Nyao National Stadium, he's at the dais, and on his left is Deputy President William Ruto. So, Deputy President William Ruto is here already. We also know that the Cabinet Secretary for Sport, Ambassador Amina Mohammed, is here and all waiting for the finish of the race with the, waiting for the First Lady to finish. And when the First Lady is just about to finish, we all know how, how the drill works. The President will walk down and he will make his way to the finish line, which means that a lot of people, for them, they then, well, will not be at the finish line, but will be just outside of that and then the entertainment program can continue. So, as everyone sees that, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta will be there standing and not and it is until that the first lady gets to the finish line that this gentleman will take, and these ladies and gentlemen will take to their seats. So that is it, and as that continues, the KBC family, quickly, I'll start with you. What was it like for you? Quickly for you? Ah, uh, this was a very motivating event, and it was a good effort, and it trained better, more better. Wow, then. Doing it for our work because I'm proud of having finished. No. I've had fun. Everything is good. We are good. All right. They're all good. That's the KBC family. So time for us now to catch up with what's happening up there. Well, you can see that everybody's taking selfies with the president. So out there trying to get every opportunity 
to take a photograph with the president and the deputy president. And also, as everyone mills around and trying to get that historic moment. They say that everyone will remember the photos that they take as just looking at the activity that is up there and it's an indication that the first lady is close, making her way towards the Air Stadium roundabout. So that's been the, the scenario as
Meeting up with all the finishers. And President Uhuru Kenyatta takes his position just at the finish line. So what is expected is that the president will then stand right next to the finish line and then for some VIPs who have been invited and were running, they will take their places at the dice and then he will stand just right next and wait for the first lady to finish her 10 kilometer run. Remember that the 10 kilometer run started just around 9 that AM started just up on the Huru Highway. The course its way all the way to Kenya to Avenue, where they made a cut inside, turned inside, got into uh, Hila Selassie Avenue, made a turn at the railway ground, and then they all made their way to. Uh, World Industrial Area, Bunyala Road, through Enterprise Road, getting into Lusaka Road, and making the turn just at the National Stadium, and the way back, just a slight turn down, making their way back using Mombasa Road, all the way to Aerodrome Road, just where Uru Highway starts, and then going up that little hill, getting inside the Nyala National Stadium. You can see from that. So, at the moment, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta now making their way. The members of the public who are doing the fun run, the two kilometer walk and the five kilometer fun run, all of them have got to a finish. And already, making her way inside the stadium is First Lady Margaret Kenyatta. And she now has made her way inside the stadium. And President Uhuru Kenyatta now takes his place just right there at the finish line. As you can see, as all the crowds, the people who are running, they've all had to be turned away and so that they can make way for the first lady. President Uhuru Kenyatta is at the finish line. They're all making their way and she makes a sprint to the line and crosses the line and is received by President Ahad for the first lady from President Uhuru Kenyatta. And they are all pleased to see her finish the race. And she receives a medal from President Uhuru Kenyatta right at the finish line. She has run the 10 kilometer race. The president is there. Deputy President Dr. William Ruto also congratulating the president as that happens. And you can see all the activity. And she has finished that. She's run the full London Marathon. She's run the half marathon. Here, the Beyond Zero Half Marathon and finished it. And now she makes her way away from that finish line, getting an opportunity to interact with the public. You can just see the number of people who are there, all milling to get an opportunity, as you can see also, Douglas Wakehori, the man who is now known as the first coach because of his involvement with the First Lady Margaret Kenyatta's training program, training with her in Nairobi in the 10 in Sagana, getting her involved in the London Marathon, having run with her through in all the races. And from what you can hear is a lot of celebration as members of the public are there, still the pleasantries being shared. The first lady and the people who are there. There's going to be a lot of observations as to who's seated where. A lot of movement with the party she was running with throughout the 10-kilometer course. When that run started, 
the it was a little bit overcast but you should get to the finish it was all the skies had opened up and you know, temperatures slowly rising so at the moment first lady margaret kenyatta making her way from that truck area and going to take a well designed of the Beyond Zero Half Marathon. Now His Excellency the President making his way back to the VIP dance. Together with Deputy President William Ruto, with Deputy President William Ruto, having completed.
All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get it. Another moment with all the noise in the background. As a public announcement is being made, everyone being asked to get inside the stadium because I mean, that finish line just you could tell that it did look a little bit chaotic with all the number of people who are there ningeomba sote ambao tuliopewa medali ambao tumemaliza mbio ya kilomita 21 kilomita 10 kilomita 5 kilomita 2 na kina mama wasiojiweza wale people with special needs the two of them ndani kwa kiwanja tuweze kuji stretch mwili na dj na kuomba sasa tuendelee na mziki naona watu wameanza kuingia ndani thank you all, all I do is focus being on that time as the first lady takes a break after the 10 km run to, uh, to freshen up and then they will get on to that podium well also happening now people dancing here and some of them cooling down it's their way of relaxing after that long run so that is As uh, you know, the members of the public who are there all dancing around and uh, keeping it. Well, 20,000 people were expected in this event with the elite runners having been separated from the rest of the park. And for 20, and this, the numbers are identical to the ones that you would find. to the numbers that you'd find in other major races. Remember, some of these mar some marathons restricted the number of people who can participate. And this is another half marathon. Also, cognizant president of Machako's governor, Dr. Alfred Mutua. All the governors knowing that they've got different roles with health being a devolved county then i mean rather div, uh, being div, a devolved function then it is up to the governors to ensure that members of the public receive the right health services and once the clinics and all the facilities around this are procured through and bought and the initiative set up they will all have to be run eventually by the county government of the Republic of Kenya. President Uru Kenyatta in conversation with Dr. Alfred Butsu and Deputy President William Ruto in conversations all here and knowing what the initiatives would be. Well, a lot being said that has to be done and one of the things that the Beyond Zero initiative would like to achieve is that every is that senior citizens, those over 60 years, all have access to universal health care. And the Linda Mama card is available to every woman so that if she needs to have prenatal care, just um, have go and deliver their child 
in a proper environment and also have post antenatal care, then that card would be achieved. And also the education of the people who will be working around that initiative and such things. That is Asante sana DJ. Ya kutuza washindi wote katika viwango vyote tangu tulipoanza asubuhi na mapema na mwisho wa sherehe za leo itakuwa ni hotuba atakayoitoa mheshimiwa mama wa taifa kwa shukuru nyie wote mliojitokeza kwa wingi kuja kusimama naye katika hizi mbio za kilomita moja za half Beyond Zero Half Marathon 2019. Hivi sasa tunasubiri wakati wa wote kuanzia sasa shujaa ama jemedari ama ukipenda kumuita hero atajiunga pamoja nasi yeye ni mheshimiwa mama wa taifa na tunamsubiri kwa hamu na gamu ili tuweze kuwa na sherehe ya kutuza washindi DJ kwako tunaposubiri mama wa taifa DJ, DJ, kidogo shikilia. Ningeomba wale lo shiriki mbio zote naomba tuweze kuingia ndani kwa kiwanja. 
tuweze kuondoka hapo ili tuweze kuingia ndani kwa kiwanja kwa sababu naona hapo kuna matarisho ya kupewa medali sote tuingie kwa kiwanja tuweze ku stretch mili yetu naomba tafadhali mlioshiriki wote kama umepewa medali hujapewa medali ningeomba tuondoke hapa tuweze kuingia ndani kwa kiwanja tafadhali thank you DJ endelea
Asante sana DJ Tungependa kutambua wake wa magavana ama ukipenda the county first ladies waliojitokeza kwa wingi kabisa kusimama na mheshimiwa mama wa taifa B Margaret Kenyatta tuko naye mama county ukipenda wa makueni county tuko na Marsabit county tuko na Narok county tuko na Muranga county tuko na first lady wa Garissa county tuko na first lady wa Kakamega county tuko na first lady wa Kisi county Kiambu county Washingishu county Transoia county Nairobi County, Meru County, West Pokot County, Turkana County, Machakos County, Baringo County na wote wamekuja wakiwa na watu ambao wamewazindikisha ku support ndio hizi za the first lady half marathon za beyond zero. Ah, asante sana mwenzangu Jun. Ningependa kuwatangazia wale washindi wa leo katika mbio za kilomita ishirini na moja Nataka kuwatangaza kwa majina namba moja paka namba tatu Waweze kuja hapo finishing point wakisubiri medali zao Kwa wanaume ningetaka Bet Josephat Kipko H Rono Philomen Na Kirui Samon Kiprugut Narudia washindi wa tatu Namba moja, namba mbili na namba tatu Ambayo namba moja akiwa ni Bet Josephat Kipko H Na Rono Philomen Na Kirui Simon Kiprugut Kwa wanaume Ningeomba muripot hapo mahali penye finishing point Haya nikitaja madada Majina namba moja akiwa ni Jeb Korir Brilliant Kifuatwa na Evelyn Chirchir Namba tatu akiwa ni Kitur Bones Jep Kirui Narudia Kinadada Namba moja akiwa Jep Korir Brilliant Akifuatwa na Evelyn Chirchir Na Kitur Bones Jep Kirui Ningeomba muweze kuja hapa finishing point Asante DJ Tuendele basi upande wa pili wa jukwaa naweza kuona wale ambao wanapewa medali zao tunaombwa shughuli hiyo isitishwe kwa muda We like you to stop issuing of the medals shughuli hiyo isimamishwe kwa muda mchache tuweze kumaliza hapa mbele kwa jukwaa kuu kisha baadaye sote tutapata medali zetu hakuna mtu yeyote atakaye toka ndani ya uga huu pasipo na medali yake. Kwa hivyo tunawaomba tu kwa moyo mkunjufu ya kwamba mtulie yote ni sawa. Wale ambao wanapeana medali tunaomba shughuli hiyo isitishwe kwa muda mchache tuweze kumaliza shughuli za hapa mbele kisha baadaye tutawarejea ili muweze kupeana medali. Those ones who are being issued by their medals, we kindly request you to hold your peace and hold on. We finish at the main dais with our very brief speeches. And thereafter, we award the winners and then we continue issuing the medals. For those ones who are issuing medals, I've been advised you may suspend it for a while. To Shauni onges, univo funza unyagoni Oh baby, asadasi ni kone Ubangi no Ayotari baby Oh baby, baby Asatisa ni kone Ubangi no Basitisa ni kone Homeboys, boys, boys 
Sasa ningependa kuwatangazia washindi namba moja mpaka namba tatu muweze kuja hapa kwa stand ya finish wale niliwataja majina kwa wanaume wale walioshinda kilomita ishirini na moja ningeomba muripot hapa mahali mutakuja pewa zawadi bet josephat kipko H. Bet Josephat Kipko H Nige kuomba uje hapo Umtafute bwana moja anaitwa Peter Ako hapo kwa finishing point Rono, uh, alafu na ningependa Rono Philemon Uje hapo finishing point Utapambana na mtu anaitwa Peter Yuko hapo Number three, nikirui Simon Kiprugut Wale walioshiriki Mbio za kilomita ishirini na moja Namba moja, namba mbili, namba tatu kwa wanaume Bet Josephat Kipko H Akifuatwa na Rono Philomen Na Kirui Simon Kiprugut Tafadhali naomba muje hapa Mahali ya finishing point Haya tunaenda kwa wale walioshiriki kilomita ishirini na moja Kina mama, wa kina dada Jeb Coril Brilliant akifuatiliwa na Evelyn Chirchir watatu akiwa ni Kitur Bones Jeb Kirui narudia tena kina dada ambao waliokimbia kilomita ishirini na moja namba moja paka namba tatu Jeb Coril Brilliant akifuatwa na Evelyn Chirchir na akifuatwa na Kitur Bones Tunakuja kwa wale walioshiriki kwa try cycle wale people with special need kwa wanaume James Mangere namba mbili Ronald Wafula namba tatu Duncan Karanja wale wa tree cycle namba moja ni James Mangere mbili Ronald Wafula tatu Duncan Karanja kwa try circle ya kina dada namba moja ni Jen Kemboi namba mbili ni Beth Seba Chibole namba tatu Elizabeth Otieno kina dada walio shiriki kwenye try cycle Jen Kemboi Beth Seba Chibola namba tatu Elizabeth Otieno na tukienda kwa wheelchair Walio shiriki, walio shinda namba moja mpaka namba tatu Washindi Ambayo ni Samuel Kuria kwa wanaume Akifatwa na Caleb Opio Watatu akiwa Thomas Koloba Narudia wa wheelchair Wale wenye special need Samuel Kuria, Caleb Opio, Thomas Koloba Tukienda kwa wadada wa wheelchair Tunataka Caroline Wanjira na Eunice Otieno na Mary N Zakayo narudia wilche ya kina dada ni Caroline Wanjiro Eunice Otieno na Mary N Zakayo nataka muje hapa kwa finishing point muonane na Peter Gasheru ama Charles Gasheru Asante DJ unaweza endelea
They call me Big LA, Big Silly, Big Money, Big Billy. When it's hot in the mall, they call me Big LA, Big Silly, Big Money. They call me Big LA, they call me Big LA, they call me Big LA, Big Silly, Big Money, Big Billy. When it's hot in the mall, and you hear me, I be slicing with these balls, so you feel me. Let me rip it up with cuz in the back. Let me flip it, get a buzz in your hand. I'ma tell you how to cause an attack. Timberland ladies love on the track. Mom, get the ice my champagne. Don't forget I used to ride on the train. When a puppet ride, call my name. Go crazy in the mall with James. Don't cat not ill like me. Bring the women in the chill for free. Let me tell you, girl, don't try me. You better have my D, cause we be up in the club. We be both in the back. Unaringaga unaringa nini Na sura mbaya takuliko mbuzi Roho chafu kama ya shetani Unadhani ya gawewe ni nani Taka taka Mapepo zina kufata Sijui hata nini nini liona kwako Hata ninge jua ninge kati ya dadako Taka 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 Mapepo zina kufata Sijui hata nini nini liona kwako Hata ninge jua ninge kati ya dadako Uli nikata juli juanda kukata Juka ungea nikata mine ngea kukata So nikangoja wendo nikata e fast Cause I'm a gentleman and ladies go fast But let me tell you something young woman Apana wikia wana umero ya chuma Ukikati wajo kubali kukatika Amo kizeka ndio maringo itaisha yeah Ure kabisa na kwende kabisa Tuma besta kwa kuje izi ngoli bakisha Ure kabisa na Kwende kabisa, tuma besta kwa kuje izi ngoli bakisha, yeah Unakata kwa demi angu na enda kwa mrogi na kuroga unakufa Today's event, we've already have results for the 
half marathon. The men's race was won by Joseph Bet in one hour 47 minutes with Philemon Ronok taking second place. Oh, we apologize for that technical hitch, but we are now. Oh, we apologize for that technical hitch, but again, time for us to catch up with the results from today's event and the. Uh, half marathon, the men's half marathon, was won by Joseph Ben in 1 hour 47 seconds with Philemon Rono taking second place in 1 hour 48 seconds. Simon Kirui took third place in 1 hour 58 seconds. The women's race was won by brilliant Kip Koet with Gailin Churchill taking second place and Bonis Kitur taking third place. The 10 kilometer race, the women's race was won by Margaret Chalimo in 31 minutes, 30.8 seconds. Irene Kimais taking second place in 31 minutes, 32.6 seconds. And Monica Ngiga taking third place in 31 minutes, 39.2 seconds. The men's 10 kilometer race was won by Vincent Ngetich in 28 minutes, 58.3 seconds. Alex Mutiso taking second place in 28 minutes, 59.1 seconds. And Shadra Kuwait taking third place in 29 minutes, and five point zero seconds continuing with with the wheelchair races the men's race was won by Samuel Kuria and Kalawopio taking second place and Thomas Kloba taking third the women's wheelchair race was won by Car uh, Caroline Wanjiro Unius Otieno taking second place and Mary Zakaya taking third place. The tricycle women's race was won by Jane Kimboy. Bert Siba Chibole took second place and Elizabeth Otieno took third place. For the top athletes in each of these events, prize money is there's for the taking and the prize money breakdown is quite simple. For the half marathon, the winner takes 250,000 shillings. Second place at three takes 125,000 shillings. The third place at three 75,000 shillings. 30,000 shillings for fourth. 20,000 shillings for fifth. And all athletes who finish from position six to ten are entitled to 10,000 shillings each. And that applies to both men and women. In the men, ten. 10 kilometer men's and women's races. The winner is entitled to 100,000 shillings. Second place athlete, 60,000 shillings. Third place athlete, 40,000 shillings. And fourth place, 20,000 shillings. Fifth place, 10,000 shillings. Six to 10 are all entitled to 10,000 shillings. Then looking at the wheelchair and the, tricyc and the tricycle races, this is for both men and women. First place athlete get 100,000 shillings. Second place 60,000 shillings. Third place 40,000 shillings. Fourth place 20,000 shillings. And the fifth place athlete gets 10,000 shillings. That is how the prize money for this first ladies half marathon has been spread out. And the prize money, there is no difference between the top prize for any man and top prize for the women. So that's how that prize money has been set out. The other events that were there, there were three categories for the visually impaired athletes, the T11, T12 and T13. And the winner of the visually impaired race gets 30,000 shillings. Second place athlete gets 15,000 shillings and third place 10,000 shillings. So that's how the prize money has been distributed for this event. Remember that this year's event included the visually impaired athletes, those who would be considered para-athletes, those who, right, who uh, compete 
on wheelchairs. So those were just part of the athletes who were all part of this competition this year. 21 kilometers for the tricyclists and the wheelchair athletes and for the half marathon, the 10 kilometer race. Then there was a corporate challenge of 10 kilometers. We also had athletes participate. There were those you know, recreational runners who were in the five kilometer walk and that included for children. And there was a pregnant walk that was two kilometers long. And now, I will tell you that that the first lady, first lady Margaret Kenyatta, is now at the main dais, and we now switch the program that will be conducted through state protocol. Kwanza Shereze to Rasmi. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta. Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, who is also the champion of the Beyond Zero Marathon, Margaret Kenyatta. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto. Your Excellency, the former Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, His Excellency, Hel Mariam de Salen. Your Excellency, the former First Lady of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, Roman Tesfaye. The Cabinet Secretary for Sports and Heritage, Ambassador Dr. Amina Mohamed. The Cabinet Secretary for Health, Mrs. Cicely Karaoke. The Principal Secretaries present, Your Excellencies, the Ambassadors and members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Principal Secretaries pre present, participants, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, mine is to welcome the President of the Athletics Kenya, Lieutenant General Retired Jackson Tuwei to come and make his rem opening remarks and proceed with the program. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, your Excellency, the First Lady and Founder of Beyond Zero Program, Cabinet Secretaries present, the Governors present, all participants of 2019 Beyond Zero Championships today, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, allow me from the onset to congratulate all the participants who took part today, and in particular, I give special congratulations to the First Lady who participated in 10 kilometers event, finished and returned a time of one hour, 50 minutes and 56 seconds. Allow me also, Your Excellency, to congratulate the Deputy President who participated in the 21 kilometer and finished and returned a time of two hours, 04 and 12 seconds. The rest of the results will be read as the presentations are given. I am honored, Your Excellency, to be a part of this program as we share experiences of the Beyond Zero event. We have been part of this Beyond Zero journey from the first, since the first marathon in 2014, 
and we are happy to support this noble cause. And indeed, this is a proud moment as we have dedicated ourselves to the planning of this event from the beginning. This is because of our commitment and dedication as Athletics Kenya in sporting and promoting talent across the country. In addition to providing athletes with access to international championships, we have been keen on improving local marathons and races in order to ensure that we maintain the international standards and continue producing the best talents. Platforms such as the Beyond Zero Half Marathon have been key in providing an avenue for our athletes to train for upcoming championships and acts as a qualifier for some of these championships. This year, for example, the national, for instance, the, the Beyond Zero Half Marathon will be used by the National Paralympics team as pre-qualifier for the 2020 Paralympic Games that will be held in Tokyo, Japan. We are grateful to the First Lady and the Beyond Zero team for organizing this event and giving this team the platform to prepare for the Paralympic Games. I urge and encourage those who did not manage to register and compete this year, that they do so and join the event next year and the years to come. Your Excellency, with these few remarks, I would like to congratulate once again all those who took part, and I hope you all enjoyed the, the event and that you are going home very happy competitors. With these few remarks, therefore, it is my honor and pleasure to invite the Cabinet Secretary for Health, Mrs. Cecily Kariuki, to give her remarks and continue with the program. Madam Cecily Kariuki. Your Excellency, Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, our First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Your Excellency, the former Prime Minister of Ethiopia and the former First Lady, all the runners, my colleagues from Cabinet, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, I'm elated to join thousands of Kenyans today in this race, which, at the end of it all, aims to end maternal, newborn, and child deaths suffering. It is heartening to see the number of Kenyans who rally behind this noble call by High Excellency, our First Lady, to promote healthy lives and well-being of women, children, and adolescents, as well as supporting the strive towards the universal health coverage. We are certain that the second strategic framework of promotion of healthy lives and well-being of women, children, and adolescents will achieve even more. Your Excellency, the Ministry of Health has several interventions that complement the Beyond Zero activities, key among them the expanded free maternity uh, package, as well as the recently launched National Surgical Capacity Sensors for ending all rare surgical cases in Kenya. Together with the partners and stakeholders in the sector, we are also finalizing a national surgical obstetric trauma uh, plan to provide a ro roadmap that will address the gaps identified in the national surgical census. Your Excellency, we have witnessed exponential growth of integrated health services such as HIV testing, treatment and care, immunization and basic treatment 
of common ailments as a result of the Beyond Zero initiative. I wish to encourage each one of us to, take, to make use of these services which are available across the 47 counties. I conclude by calling upon the private sector and philanthropic organizations to help us in bridging the resources gap that we have in the sector. Sustained discourse on domestic financing will see to several positive outcomes from health initiatives. Finally, allow me to congratulate all the runners and specifically single out the First Lady for running this morning and winning in the 10 kilometer race. It is now my humble duty to also ask my sister and colleague, CS Amina, CS for Sports, to make her own marks and carry on with the program. Your Excellency, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, your Excellency, Mrs. Margaret Kenyatta, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, Deputy President William Ruto. Your Excellency, Haile Mariam Desalegn and your spouse. Colleague Cabinet Secretaries present. The Principal Secretary of Sports, Ambassador Kaberia. Other Principal Secretaries present. Corporate Executives, Distinguished Participants. Ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, I'm delighted to participate in this fourth edition of the Beyond Zero Half Marathon dedicated to taking healthcare services closer to all Kenyans and especially to women and children. I congratulate Her Excellency the First Lady for this excellent initiative. The Beyond Zero campaign has provided an ideal platform for fostering long-term partnerships in support of healthcare particularly prenatal and postnatal medical treatment to less privileged women and children. I want to thank all corporate firms, organizations, partners, sponsors, and supporters who have over the years donated in cash or kind towards this noble initiative. Through your generous donations, you have changed the lives of many women and children. We celebrate all of you. Your Excellency, I'm very proud of everyone who's participating in today's event. Their involvement speaks to their concern over the well-being of our fellow citizens. Your presence is an act of care, generosity, and patriotism. It's also an opportunity, of course, to exercise your bodies and your minds, which is excellent for our general wellness. I'm encouraged to learn, Your Excellency, that your current focus in Beyond Zero is obstetric fistula, Across the world, between 50,000 to 100,000 women are affected by this. We're therefore really grateful that you've brought this to the attention of our country and of the international community. In conclusion, it's been well said that the greatness of a nation can be judged by how it treats its weakest members. History will judge us fairly if we sustain our support for the Beyond Zero campaign. I'd like to thank you very much for your attention, and now it's my pleasure to invite His Excellency, the Deputy President, to address you. Asante sana, Amina. Mashimiwa Rais wa Jamuhuri ya Kenya, Your Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, your Excellency First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, and also the champion and patron of this great heart to support the Beyond Zero campaign, our friend, the former Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Hail Mariam de Salen, and former First Lady, Wananchi Wote. Na wakimbiaji hamjambo Hamjambo Mambo Ebu mnigote hivi nione Eh namna hiyo namna hiyo namna hiyo namna hiyo Wapi nduru ya first lady Hapana ijasikika wapi nduru ya wama, mama wa taifa 
Bas, mambo ni hivyo. Mheshimiwa Rais, kwanza nichukue nafasi hii ni mpongeze mama wetu wa taifa kwa ile kazi anafanya kusaidia serikali katika kuhamasisha wananchi kwa mambo ya afya ya kina mama watoto wetu na wa Kenya kwa jumla Mama First Lady you are special to us to the people of Kenya and to every citizen especially the mothers and children of our nation you are truly the mother of the nation Your Excellency this event goes beyond matters health it is also a social event that brings hundreds of thousands of Kenyans together so that we can run together as citizens of this nation. And today, I, in a very special way, I want to thank the First Lady because she has given me the opportunity to run 21 kilometers and I now have a new personal best of two hours, four minutes, and 12 seconds. Ioni Missouri san But Your Excellency, in this race, I represented the presidency in the 21 kilometers, and we did well. First Lady represented the presidency in the 10 kilometers. We didn't have a representative in the five kilometers, and in the two kilometers. And I want to thank you, sir, in a very special way for agreeing that next year you will consider to represent the presidency in the remaining two races. But there is a small problem, sir. The one you had tried to say maybe you will start with two kilometers, I am told It is for expectant mothers. The expectant mothers are the ones. So, uh, I don't think you want to go and race with expectant mothers. So, you have no choice but now to start with the five kilometers. To begin, Rais, I'm going to be at the run next year. Eh, namna yo. So, but I want to say in this uh, meeting today that indeed it's a special moment that all of us as Kenya have come together in a very special way to support our mother of the nation who is doing a wonderful job in supporting matters of health and matters, matters to do with our women and children. With those many remarks, Your Excellency, I also want in a very special way to thank you for the leadership that progressively sports is becoming the center of what we are doing for our young people, especially Kenya being a sporting nation. Sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo, sasa ni nafasi yangu. ni muite rafiki yetu ambaye amefika hapa leo in a friend of his excellency the president who has come to support first lady the former prime minister of ethiopia his excellency hail mariam de salen to make very brief remarks your excellency sir Your Excellency and dear brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Excellencies, brothers and sisters amongst us today, I'm very much privileged and honored to be part of this very important program. And I would like to thank the First Lady Margaret at this juncture for her dedication, 
for mothers and children. You know, all life starts with mothers, and children are as our future. So I would like to thank her for inviting us to be part of this program. And I convey uh, greetings from my country, Ethiopia, that we all are intertwined, and our mothers and our children need to, to be taken care of. And I thank you for joining this program, and we will emulate this in our country, Ethiopia. Thank you for leading. Thank you for helping us in the region to follow you suit this important venture. Again, I'm very much privileged to be amongst you and long live the fraternal relationship between Kenya and Ethiopia. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. It's now my humble duty and pleasure to request His Excellency the President to make his remarks. Wapi Makofi Arais. With the first lady in this half marathon, a marathon that is her brainchild, a marathon aimed at raising money to support the mothers and children of this great republic. It is a wonderful initiative that has gone a long way to support us in our national program of ensuring that we truly achieve beyond zero within our stipulated time, as we have indicated both in our manifesto but also in our Vision 2030. I want to thank all the organizers, all the volunteers who have given their time and effort towards ensuring the success of this event. I want to thank all the sponsors who have come out and sponsored and contributed to this wonderful event, as I also thank the security team and everybody. This is the spirit that is Kenya. One nation built together by 45 million of us, united and focused on one vision. And I am certain that this and many other initiatives across the country will really help us achieve our dream and our objective of a united, prosperous nation for all. Mimi sitaki kusema mengi, leo siyo siku yangu. But I do want to say, as a result also, last year, 
when we said that we were going to add a tax to gambling. I think this year, I can proudly say that sports, culture, and arts will truly take center stage in our republic. I can say with certainty, ya kwamba mwaka huu, Harambe stars, hawata kuwa wana beg borrow, tutawa fund from January to February and ensure that Harambe stars becomes a success. I want to assure you that our rugby teams will be fully sponsored by the government this year. I want to assure you that our netball and all our national teams will be fully sponsored by government this year. But most importantly, the shining star of Kenya sports, which is our athletes, will never again be wanting for uniform, for tickets, for anything. Our athletes will be sponsored fully by the government of the Republic of Kenya. And sports, as I said, culture and arts will take center stage in our agenda of 2019, thanks to the new fund that we have put together, that we shall ensure that we will not leave anybody behind and that Kenya and the Kenyan flag shall reign high. Wahayo machache na mengi, mchokozi William, mimi mwaka ujao nitakimbia, mbuwa nafikiria hiyo ya kilomita mbili, lakini. Tasa umeningilia zaidi. So, minimum five, lakini tutawana kama tutaweza ten. It is now my great pleasure and honor to invite the First Lady to address us. Thank you very much. and his wife who came to support us as well as deputy president we woke up early this morning and lined up the streets of Nairobi to join together to support a common concern your being here to rally together defines our Kenyan spirit we are indeed our strongest resource and I hope that you'll be spurred on by the knowledge that your participation in the Beyond Zero Marathon will have positive and life-changing impacts on many lives. The pioneering concept of the marathon was inspired by the unacceptable maternal and child mortality rates. Since we began running together five years ago, this concern has continued to capture the hearts of individuals, families, friends, and communities across the country. Here today we have teams from far and wide, and I applaud you for being part of this special day. Through our collective efforts, we have contributed to prevention of thousands of mothers and babies dying from lack of access to health care and medicines. We purchased and delivered mobile clinics to all 47 counties, and we have begun medical safaris to address specific health concerns. We have contributed to the widespread awareness around health challenges facing women, children, and vulnerable communities. 
but despite the progress we've made as a country, our work is not yet done. This is why this year's Beyond Zero Marathon is dedicated to several causes. We dedicate this marathon to mothers, to women, to girls, to commemorate International Women's Day. We dedicate it to women living with obstetric fistula, to advocate for policy protection and bring hope that will change their lives. We dedicate it to babies who are the future of this country. We dedicate it to our children, especially those living with physical and intellectual challenges, and advocate for inclusion and equal access to all services. We also dedicate this day to our elderly, our senior citizens, our grandparents, for their love and sacrifice to make what Kenya is today. We advocate for their recognition and social protection. I thank all our sponsors, without who this event would not have been possible. And I thank all the volunteers and friends of Beyond Zero for their remarkable energy and dedication, for the precious time they have given. I applaud all the elite runners. You are an inspiration to us all. And I'm especially proud of our marathon's new race category, the Paralympics team, who have used this marathon as a springboard pre-qualifier race to the international meet next year. I wish all our athletes all the, all the success in their preparations. Finally, I dedicate this day to all of us and urge us to take charge of our lives through healthy lifestyle choices. Thank you once again for your wonderful display of enthusiasm and passion. God bless you all. Well, beyond the zero. At this point, Your Excellency, I now invite you for the award presentation ceremony. We shall be conducted by our lawyer and now to on the other side to invite my co MC Kade. If you are ready, we are coming down there for the presentation of the awards to the awardee. The winner of five kilometers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, June. Sasani Wakati Wakupeana Zawadi. Tukio Tunaanza na wale walio shiriki kwenye wheelchair tunaanza na kinadada women wa wale wa wheelchair 1 2 and 3 Caroline Wangira Dennis Otieno na Mary N Zakayo wheelchair uh, Wheelchair ladies, number one was Caroline Wanjira. Number one is Caroline Wanjira. Number two is Eunice Otieno. Number three is Mary N. Zakayo. Haya. Asante kwa kunirekebisha tunaanza na namba tatu Namba tatu akiwa ni Mary N Zakayo. That's number three Number th the third one. Ma Mary N Zakayo. 
And number two is Eunice Otieno. Number one is Caroline Wanjira. Na mama wa taifa, first Margaret Kenyatta. Tuwapigie makofi majito wa sidi. Huyo alikuwa ni Mary N. Zakayo, number three. Position three, Mila Shafi. Yes. Wapi makofi tena majito. Pili ikiwa inaenda kwa Unis Otieno. Namba mbili, Unis Otieno, hiyo amechukua namba mbili. Wapi makofi kwa mshindi wa nishani ya fedha? Mama wa taifa anaenda kupeana medali ya mshindi wa kwanza katika mashindano ya wheelchair anapewa Caroline Wanjira ndio mshindi wa wheelchair wapi nduru bila shaka mshindi wa mwaka 2019 beyond zero half marathon wapi nduru ya mama wa taifa jamani yeye ndio bingwa ndio champion wa beyond zero haya washindi washapewa medali hao wa wheelchair tukimaliza ya kina dada sasa tutaleta ya wanaume wazee asanteni sana tunashukuru tunasema asante haya sasa tunataka tuwapishe wanaume wa wheelchair Tunaanza na number three, Thomas Doba. Number two, Caleb Opio. Number one, Samuel Kuri. Wa wheelchair. Zawadi tikiwa zinaendelewa kupeanwa na first lady, mama wetu watai. Tunaanza kama vile nilivyoambiwa tunaanza na namba tatu. Medali ya shaba. Ikiwa inapewa kwa Thomas Koloba. Huyo ndio namba three katika mbio za wheelchair za wanaume. Bronze Thomas medali. Koloba anapewa medali ya shaba ya bronze. Wapi makofi jamani? Makofi mazito kwa mshindi wa nishani. Tunaenda sasa akiwa mepewa cheki ya alfu arubaine. Wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa jamani. Yeye ndio muanzilishi wa beyond zero na ye ndio bingwa wa beyond zero. Haya, tukienda kwa mshindi wa pili. Anaitua Caleb Opio ambaye anapewa medali ya fedha. Caleb Opio Sima. Wapi makofi ya Caleb Opio Wakipewa na mama wa taifa Na anapewa Cheki yake ya alfu Sitini Bila Wapi makofi jamani Silver medalist Makofi kwa silver medalist Alafu tunakuenda kwa mshindi Wa wheelchair wanaume Namba moja akiwa ni Samuel Kuria ndio amepata Medali ya dhahabu ya beyond zero akipewa na mama wa taifa B Margaret Kinyata na cheki ya laki moja wapi makofi Asante sana Ni wakati wa kubeba cheki sasa na wapige picha na mama wa taifa Tukimaliza sasa tunaenda kwa tricycle. Tunaanza na kina mama. Peane njia ili waweze kupita. Tricycle. Tricycle. Both Ni ile ya migumi tatu ile ya... Tatu bila shaka. Wale wa special need. Tunaanza na kina mama. Haya. Tunaanza na Elizabeth Otieno, number three. 
akifuatwa na Betseba Chibola number 2 akifuatwa na number 1 Jen Kemboi number 3 Elizabeth Otieno number 2 Betseba Chibola na number 1 ni Jen Kemboi medali zao zitapewa na mama wa taifa B Margaret Kinyata our first lady na ikiwa mheshimiwa rais mwenyewe akiwa anaangalia kwa makini haya tunaanza na namba tatu ambaye tulisema ni Duncan ni Elizabeth Otieno Elizabeth Otieno ndio mshindi wa namba tatu anapewa cheki yake ya 1040 wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa jamani bronze medalist Tunaenda kwa namba mbili ni Betse Bakibola anavalishwa medali yake ya silver Wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa akipewa cheki yake ya 1060 Tunaenda Mmechukua picha haya tukienda kwa namba moja Mama wa taifa kipeana zawadi ya medali ya dhahabu kwa Jen Kemboi wapi makofi oh. haya na Mabos. cheki yake Sawa. ya shilingi laki moja wapi nduru wa mama taifa jamani hao ndio walioshiriki kwenye mbio za tricycle kina dada sasa wanachukua picha mama wa taifa na umepewa zawadi zao tukimaliza sasa tunaleta kina baba wanaume sasa kwa mashindano hayo hayo ya tricycle tunaanza na number 3 ambaye ni Duncan Karanja huyo ndo number 3 alafu akifuatwa na Ronald Wafula akifuatwa na mshindi ni James Mangerere Namba tatu ni Duncan Karanja Namba mbili ni Ronald Wafula Namba moja ni James Mangerere Unajua katika leo mashindano ya leo yale shiriki katika kilomita 21 kilomita 10 kilomita 5 na kilomita mbili pia kuna kina mama wajawazito pia wameingia kwenye mbio. So kwa hiyo pia wao nafikiri watakuwa kwenye kupewa zawadi. Tunaanza na Duncan Karanja akiwa namba tatu anapewa medali yake ya shaba. Wapi makofi jamani ya Duncan Karanja? Anavalishwa medali yake ya shaba. Akipewa cheki yake ya 1040. Wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa jamani? mwanzilishi wa Beyond Zero na ndiyo bingwa wa Beyond Zero. Huyo alikuwa ni namba tatu ni Duncan Karanja. Ndio mshindi wa namba tatu wa tricycle kwa wanaume. Tukienda kwa namba mbili akiwa ni Ronald Wafula anapewa medali yake ya silver. Ronald Wafula wapi makofi ya Ronald Wafula? Akipewa medali yake ya Silva na cheki yake ya alfu sitini. Jamani wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa? Makofi Haya. mazito kwa shindi. Tukienda kwa mshindi wa namba moja. James Mangerere. Akivalishwa medali yake ya dhahabu na mama wa taifa. Wanapewa anapewa cheki yake ya laki moja wapi nduru ya mama wa taifa na tungetaka watu wa corporate waanze kukaribia haya hizo ndio ilikuwa zawadi za tricycle sasa tunaenda kwa washindi wa wale waliokimbika kimbia walio shiriki mbio za kilomita na moja. na ningeomba corporate wajiweke tayari KWFT Kenya Red Cross Toyota KCB Simbas Kemsa PSK 
na cooperative bank nitataja majina yenu baadaye lakini kwa sasa nataka mjue hiyo majina ya cooperative imetaja hivi sasa tunaanza wale walioshiriki kilomita moja kina dada tutaanza na namba tatu ambaye ni Kitur Bornes Jep Kirui panda kwenye jukwaa namba tatu tunakwenda namba tu Evelyn Chirchir namba moja ni Jep Korir Brilliant hao ndo walioshiriki kwenye mbio za kilomita moja tunaanza na medali ya bronze ambayo ni mshindi wa namba tatu ni Kitur Bones Jep Kirui akipewa zawadi yake na mama wa taifa na cheki yake ya alfu sabini na tano wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa makofi mazito kabisa haya tukienda kwa mshindi wa pili Evelyn Chirchir akipewa medali yake ya silver na mama wa taifa Evelyn Chirchir ndio mshindi wa pili kwa wanawake kilomita na moja na akipewa cheki yake ya laki moja alfu ishirini na tano wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa haya mshindi wetu wa kilomita na moja ni dada Jeb Korir Brilliant akipewa medali yake ya dhahabu na mama wa taifa na cheki yake ya alf, laki, alf, laki mbili na alfu hamsini wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa marathon 2019 wapi makofi yake haya hao ndio walioshiriki kwenye kilomita na moja sasa tunaenda kwa kilomita na moja bado sasa ni kina baba ni vijana tunaanza na kirui simon kiprugut Kirui Simon Kiprugut ambaye amemaliza kwa sali moja, dakika moja na sekunde arobaini Majina mazito. Wa pili akiwa Rono Filemon. Alimaliza kwa sali moja, dakika moja, sekunde nne Wa kwanza akiwa ni Bet Josephat Kipkoech. Alimaliza kwa sali moja, dakika moja, sekunde nne Haya tunaanza wanapewa zawadi na mama wa taifa bi Margaret Kinyata tunaanza na zawadi ya bronze anapewa Kirui Simon Kiprugut na akipewa cheki yake ya tano wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa bronze medalist haya tukienda kwa wapili Silva. alikuwa ni Rono Filemon anapewa shahada yake medali ya silver na mama wa taifa na cheki yake ya laki moja alfu ishirini na tano wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa jamani haya tukimalizia tunaenda kwa mshindi wa leo katika kilomita ishirini na moja bet josephat kipkoech amepata medali yake ya zahabu na cheki yake ya laki mbili alfu hamsini wapi makofi ya mama wa taifa Haya sasa tunaenda walio shiriki kilomita kumi. Tunaanza na kina dada bila shaka. Tunaanza na namba tatu ni Ngige Monica. Bronze. Ngige Monica ni namba tatu katika mbio za kilomita kumi. Namba mbili akiwa ni Kimais Irene na namba moja ni Kelimo Margai kwa hiyo tungeomba ngige monika uende upande kwenye jukwaa namba tatu ngige monika ukifuatiliwa na kimais Irene upande namba mbili na namba moja akiwa ni chelimo margai mungeanza former first lady wa Ethiopia Roman Tesfaye ndio anapeana zawadi kwa niaba first lady wetu mshindi wa namba tatu kama nilivyoambia Ngige Monica ndio amepewa cheki yake alfu sabini na tano na bronze yake wapi nuru ya first lady former first lady wa Ethiopia 
Oh. Haya anapeana wa pili akiwa ni Kimais Irene akiwa amepewa silver na cheki yake ya laki moja alfu ni alfu sitini samahani cheki yake ya alfu sitini makofi wapi makofi ya first, former first lady wa Ethiopia oh. haya mshindi wa kwanza ambaye ni Chelimo Margai ndio anavalishwa shahada yake ya zahabu na cheki yake ya laki moja wapi makofi jamani asante sana thank you so much Aya, thank you so much, thank you so much. Aya, tunaenda tasa kwa kilomita kumi wanaume. Tunaanza. Tunaanza na. Haya tunaanza na wanaume namba tatu akiwa coach Shadrack namba mbili Motiso Alexandra namba moja Ngetich Vincent hawa ndio washindi wa kilomita kumi na zawadi bado zinapewa na former first lady wa Ethiopia anaanza kupeana kwa coach Shadrack mshindi wa tatu akipewa medali yake ya bronze Wapi makofi na cheki yake ya 1040? Wapi makofi jamani? Oh. Haya anapewa mshindi wa pili ambaye ni Mutiso Alexandra na former first lady Romana Tesfai wa Ethiopia akimpa na cheki yake ya 1060 namba mbili wetu katika kilomita kumi Mutiso Alexandra Haya mshindi akiwa ni Ngetich Vincent ndio mshindi wa kilomita kumi anapewa medali yake ya dhahabu na cheki yake ya laki moja wapi makofi ya former first lady wa Ethiopia Romana Tetsfai Asante sana thank you so much Thank you so much Sasa tunafuata walio shiriki kwenye kilomita mbili. Kilomita mbili. Hawa ni wale wajawazito. <laughs> the women who are expecting. Kina mama wale wajawazito. Haya, we congratulate you. Haya, tunaanza na number three. Jane Kemunto. Jen Kemunto number 3 Jen Kemunto ako wapi nakuambia haya Mambo number 2 akiwa ni Praxibis Nangila bila shaka na number 1 akiwa ni Winket Karimi haya hawa ndio kina mama wanaotarajia wako sawa sijui waki, wakizaa rais ameamua oh, kuwapatia zawadi haya jen kemunto akiwa namba 3 namba 2 akiwa praxibi nangila na namba 1 winket karimi tunaanza na shahada ya bronze akipewa na rais wetu wa jamhuri ya kenya Bro, uhuru kenyatta wapi nuru shindi wa nishani huyo ndio jen kemunto yashaba haya na anaipata namba mbili ni praxibis nangila praxibis <laughs> nangila ndio namba mbili Sindu anapewa medali. medali yake na rais wetu wa jamhuri ya kenya haya na mshindi wa leo akiwa ni winket karimi ndio mshindi wa women who are expecting babies kina mama oye oye haya nataraji hao watoto hao watoto watakaozaliwa should we call them beyond zero watakuwa na riadha bila shaka hao watoto brother watakuwa na riadha straight away mabibi haya wapi makofi jamani Makofi, wapi makofi? Ah. 
Kina mama e. Haya. Kina mama e. Kina mama. Leo ni leo. Kwani sisi wazee atupo. Thank you so much your excellency. Haya. Sasa tunaenda kwenye corporates. Tunaanza na KWFT. Majina ni Kemei Christopher Chirchir Hosea na Bor Michael. Majina mazito. Haya Kenya Red Cross. Kibor Peter, Moridi Alice, Abdulaziz Jihan. Haya Toyota Owino Cornell Otieno Bernard Chogo Moses Mumesikia majina hayo KCB Simbas Mwaura Peter William Koech Kibet Ongaya Ofula Kemsa Mwema Brian Lubia Bright Gashoga Simon PSK Kisuvie Dennis Rotich Elkana Karugo Roy Corporate winners Haya Corporate winners KWFT Nikemei Christopher Chirchir Hosea and Bor Michael Aya, KWFT, Kenya Red Cross, na Toyota. Kemei, Christopher, Chirchi, Rosea, Bob, Michael. Hawa watatu. KWFT ndo wa kwanza, ambayo ni Kemei, Christopher, Chirchi, Rosea, Bob, Michael. Wakifuatwa na Kenya Red Cross, Kibor, Peter, Murithi, Alice, na Abdulaziz, Jihan. Wakifatwa na Toyota, Owino Cornell, Otieno Bernard, Chogo Moses. Tuanze kupeana na KWFT. KWFT. Haya. Hao ni KWFT, number one. Wakifatwa na Kenya Red Cross, wakiwa number two. Kibor, Peter, Murevi, Alice, Abdulaziz, Jihan. Number three, wakiwa ni Toyota, ambayo Owino, Cornell, Otieno, Bernard, na Chogo, Moses. Number one ni KWFT. Number two ni Kenya Red Cross, wakifatwa na Toyota. Toyota ni number three. KWFT number one, Kenya Red Cross number two, Toyota number three. Number three, Toyota. Kenya Red Cross, muko wapi, na nyindo mekua number two. Kenya Red Cross. Haya, washindi wa namba tatu ambao ni KWFT, wanapewa kikombe chao na mama wa taifa, B. Margaret Kinyata. Wapi makofi ya KWFT wakiwa washindi wa tatu, namba moja. Haya, tunakuja kwa Toyota, wakiwa wanapewa medali zao na kikombe chao. Wapi makofi jamani? Haya, thank you so much asante sana. Bonge la trophy. Yes. Na kuambia. Kenya Red Cross hawakuwai kuja nafikiri medali yao watakuja chukua baadaye. Kenya Red Cross wako hapa wamesha chukua.
Haya. Kenya Red Cross wameshapata kikombe chao na KWFT wamepewa na Toyota wamepewa. Hawa ndio walioshindi katika corporate number 1 wakiwa ni KWFT, number 2 ni Kenya Red Cross, number 3 wakiwa ni Toyota. Asante sana. Thank you so much first lady. Yes. Thank you. We are almost coming to the end. We are going to have the last photo. I would like to invite Your Excellency the President and the First Lady and also the former Prime Minister of Ethiopia and the spouse. That's a special photo for a photo shot in remembrance of today. Beyond Zero 2019. I also want to invite our Deputy President. Thank you. As the Excellencies leaves, the first team, I call the High Excellencies, High Excellency with your team, the first team, the first team, the first team, High Excellency with the first team, please. For a special photo. We are going up now. We are going up. This is Her Excellency's team, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, and the first team preparing to take a very special photo, memorable for today's occasion, to grace this occasion of the Beyond Zero. Thank you, as they are taking their position. Team Yanguvu. Tupigie Team Yanguvu Makofi Mazito. And there we go, that is the first team. Timu hiyo imesimama na mwishima mamu wa taifa kwa miaka yote katika mbio hizi. Timu hiyo ili usika katika mbio za kilomita 42 kule London. Na ndiyo hao wako pamoja na wameka gangari miaka yote. Tuapigia makofi tafadhali. Wapinduru makofi. Asante sana. Ila shaka mambo sawa. London Marathon kilomita 42. And now, may I request you to clear this area? We clear this area kindly. We clear this area, please. As their excellencies take the last salute, wherever you are, if you're wearing a cape which is not official, we want to bring the curtains down, and it is done here at the Nyayo National Stadium. Tizee wanabili yetu ya idara taifa ya polisi. Kulechini
पीछे Top on channel 1 My dreams are the same as Olga's drawings. Don't you see? Elisa's showing us what happened. They're they're vignettes, they're fragments of her death. You're just a part of me. Channel One. Next on my dreams